Hi guys, uh, this uh, vlog is um, for the discussion of the spinal nerves of the frog. Okay. Okay, so let's start off with okay the ten spinal nerves. Okay, so we have here the okay the first spinal nerve. Okay, that's called the hypoglossal nerve and innervates the tongue and the hyoid. So, as you can see, okay, the nerves are responsible for um, collecting impulses, no? collecting signals from the periphery, and also um, sending, no? collecting sensory impulses from the periphery and sending motor impulses from the CNS to the periphery. Okay? So, again, the first spinal nerve is the hypoglossal nerve. It now innervates the the tongue and the hyoid. And then we have here the second uh, spinal nerve. So this is the brachial nerve innervating the arm. Okay, and this is the third spinal nerve. Okay, this innervates the shoulder and the arm. So the three, you know, the first, the second, and the third, they form an, a network or an interconnection. Okay, we call that the brachial plexus. So the brachial plexus innervates the shoulder and the arm okay and then we have okay the fourth the fifth and the sixth so the fourth the fifth and the sixth they now innervate the skin and the muscles of the abdominal wall but they don't form a plexus okay and then we have the seventh the eighth and the ninth okay so the seventh uh, they also form a plexus okay or an interconnection you call that the lumbosacral or the sciatic plexus now which innervates the lower back and also the hind limb yeah? so uh, taking note of the seventh spinal nerve okay prior to forming a plexus it gives of a branch so this is the iliohypogastric nerve which innervates the abdominal muscles and right after forming the plexus no it has another branch you have here the pluralis nerve, which innervates again the abdominal muscles and the skin near the thigh. Okay. And then, uh, you have here the tent uh, spinal nerve. So, the tent spinal nerve innervates the cloaca, the urinary bladder, and the oviducts in females. No? And branches coming from the ninth and the tenth, no, they form now the uh, isho coccygeal plexus no innervating the pelvic area okay so take note no you have here uh, branches coming from the eighth no a branch coming from the eighth okay joins the ninth okay forming the sciatic nerve no which is the largest nerve of the body innervating the uh, hind limb okay now for some other parts of the uh, system Okay, so we have here the glands of Swammerdam. Okay, they are actually uh, calcareus. When you say calcareus, they contain uh, calcium, no? calcium ions. That's why they appear to be yellowish or whitish in color. And uh, since they are um, somewhat mineralized, they now protect the spinal nerves as they exit the intervertebral foramina. Okay. And then for the other parts, you have here the sympathetic trunk. The sympathetic trunk is actually a chain of ganglia. So what is a ganglion? No? A ganglion is a node-like structure. Okay, And this node-like structure is actually a collection of all cell bodies of neurons outside of the nervous system. And... Um, Okay, you have here the rami communicans, singular ramus, no ramus communicans. So the ramus communicans actually connects the spinal nerve, okay, to the sympathetic trunk. And uh, an important indication, now where you would see the ganglion, is that it's actually, okay, at the union of the ramus communicans and the sympathetic trunk. So that's where you see the ganglion. Okay? So again, for the more exciting part, we are going to see the actual frog.
Okay. Okay, so uh, we said in the uh, previous blog that you have to identify a nerve. Okay, a nerve from an artery, okay, from a vein, right? So nerves are uh, somewhat yellowish in color. Okay, so we have here the first set. Okay, so this one. So this is the first spinal nerve, okay, or the hypoglossal nerve. So this is uh, directly, this is adjacent to the subclavian artery, you know, if you can recall. So the yellow part, you no? Know? So that is the first spinal nerve or the hypoglossal nerve innervating the tongue and the hyoid. Okay, you cannot miss the second one, it's very large. So this is the brachial nerve, okay, um, innervating the arm. And then this is the third. Okay, so the third, okay, innervates the shoulder and the arm. So again, they would now form a plexus. You have the brachial plexus innervating the shoulder and the arm. Okay, and then, okay, you have here the, the fourth, okay, the fifth, okay, and the sixth spinal nerves, no? Fourth, fifth, sixth, and then again, they innervate the the skin and muscles of the abdominal area, okay? And then, you have here the seventh, okay, the eighth, the eighth is uh, very large, okay, and then you have the ninth, this one, okay, this is uh, very close to the abdominal aorta, okay? So, the seventh here, so we said that before forming the plexus, the seven gives up a branch. Okay, so that's the iliohypogastric nerve, okay, which innervates the abdominal wall. Okay, after forming the plexus, it gives up another branch, this one. So this is the pluralis nerve, again innervating the skin and muscles of the abdominal wall. Okay, and then the eight. Okay, the seven, no, and the eight, and the ninth actually, they form the, ito no? they form the lumbosacral or the sciatic plexus, no, innervating the lower back and also the uh, hind limb. And then, this one, okay, so this is the, so after forming the, the plexus, you have here the largest nerve of the body, this is the sciatic nerve, which innervates the, uh, lower limb. So, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see the tent. Maybe not. So, okay, let's stick to that, no? So, again, you have the first, the second, the third. Okay, you have the, okay, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, and then you have the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth. Okay? Now, in looking for the Okay, let's try to see if I can, okay. Okay, so you have here the connection no, along with the systemic arch here. Okay, so dire diretso lang siya, no? So, yan. Okay, so actually, you have here the sympathetic trunk. No? But it's, it cannot be appreciated anymore. No? And then, here, you have here the, the glands of Swammerdam. So, let me check if uh, it, uh, it would be visible on the other side. No? So this is the, okay, if this is the fourth spinal nerve, and then, okay, you see here the, 
Yan. Okay? So, ito. No, you have here the sympathetic trunk. Okay, dire-diretso yan. Tapos, you have here a connection, no? Okay, between the nerve. This is the nerve. The fourth spinal nerve. Okay, this is the... This is an example of the ramus communicans. Okay? And where the ramus communicans communicates with the sympathetic trunk. Actually, it's very, very small na, no? Okay, so you have here the... So, itong area na to, andito yung ganglion, no? So, yun. Uh, ate, can you please hold this? Yan. Just raise it. Yan, no? So, again, ito. So, this is part of the sympathetic trunk. Dire-diretso yan. We say that the sympathetic trunk is actually a chain of ganglion. A ganglia, rather, no? And uh, if this is the uh, fourth spinal nerve, it's connected to the sympathetic trunk via the ramus communicans. And where the ramus communicans communicates with the uh, sympathetic trunk, that's where you see the ganglion, although it's not very no noticeable here because, again, the specimen is very small. Okay? So, I guess that's about it for the uh, spinal nerves. Okay? Thank you very much.